Kerr, Stewart and Company Limited was a locomotive manufacturer from Stoke on Trent, England. Topic history It was founded in 1881 by James Kerr as James Kerr and Company, and became Kerr, Stewart and Company from 1883 when John Stewart was taken on as a partner. The business started in Glasgow, Scotland, but during this time they were only acting as agents ordering locomotives from established manufacturers, among them Falcon, John Fowler & Co., and Hartley, Arnault and Fanning. They bought the last named company in 1892 and moved into the California works in Stoke to begin building all their own locomotives. Hartley, Arnault and Fanning had also been building railway and tramway plant. This side of their business was sold to Dick, Kerr and Co. in Preston. <laughs> Notable Kerr, Stewart employees R. J. Mitchell, premium apprentice, later to design the Supermarine Spitfire aircraft. L. T. C. Rolt, premium apprentice, later to be an author and canal, railway preservation pioneer. T. C. B. Coleman, premium apprentice, later chief locomotive draftsman of the London Midland and Scottish Railway during the 1930s. Topic: <laughs> Kerr, Stewart Standard Designs. Kerr, Stewart were known for producing a number of standard designs with many engines being built for stock and sold off the shelf to customers. The names of these locomotive types were often derived from the purchaser of the first of that type or from the name it was given. The Kerr, Stewart designs are typified by having a single trailing truck allowing a large firebox to be placed behind the driving wheels and or having a saddle tank. Several designs of side tank locomotive were produced that shared a chassis and boiler with a saddle tank design and it is not unknown for a standard chassis from one design to be used with a different design's standard boiler to produce a locomotive to suit a customer's special requirements. Standard gauge designs Topic Narrow gauge designs Topic Steam rail motors Kerr, Stewart had a large joiner's shop and a significant passenger coach construction business. They were therefore very well placed to build steam railmotors. Their first was a diminutive 2 feet 610 mm gauge saloon for the Maharaja of Gwalior in 1904 followed by a batch of 11 standard gauge railcars in 1905, 6 for the Taff Vale Railway, 2 for the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway, 2 for the Great Western Railway and 1 for the Great Indian Peninsula Railway. The GWR gave a repeat order in 1906 for a further 12 slightly more powerful units. The largest rail motor order was for 15 from the Italian State Railways. See also Kerr Stewart Steam Railmotor, one off, built 1912, for Victorian Railways. Topic: Custom-built designs. 
In addition to the company's standard designs the company accepted many orders to build to the customer's own designs in all gauges. The most impressive example for this certainly are the legendary O-4 OLB locobrakes from 1900, strong and heavy tank engines designed to secure the trains through a cable claw on SPR Sao Paulo Railway and later EFSJ Estrada de Ferro Santos Ajundii S5 feet 3 in 1,600 mm gauge mountain cable cable incline between Paranapiacaba and Piacaguera. Six of them are preserved. An example of a narrow gauge O-4-0 tank engine, number 652 built in 1899, worked in the docks at Walvis Bay, Namibia, until the 1950s and is now preserved in a purpose-built glass-windowed display hut in the forecourt of Walvis Bay Station. The California works produced in 1,903 quarters a 4-6-0 design for several Irish 3 feet 914 mm gauge lines including a 4-6-2T version for the Londonderry and Loch Swilly Railway. For Chile a very large 3 feet 6 in 1067 mm gauge double 6 coupled bogey Meyer followed in 1904 by 5 American style bar framed 2 8 0 tender engines for the 3 feet 914 mm gauge interoceanic and Mexican eastern railways. In May 1910 they built a 2 feet 610 mm gauge, modified fairly, for service in Madras. This was not a fairly but just two O-4-2 T engines permanently coupled back to back, the only articulation being between the two complete engines. They received a repeat order for this combination. A truly remarkable standard gauge build of 1910 was a class of four handsome 4 2, 2 express passenger locomotives to the design of E. J. Dunstan for the Shanghai Nanking Railway. The order was received on 19 April 1910 and the novel design required the production of totally new drawings and patterns for all parts. Even so, the first engine was steamed just seven weeks later on 8 June 1910. In service these engines, probably the last, and the biggest, single driver engines ever built, proved to be fast 60 miles per hour, smooth running, and very economical on fuel when compared with similar 4-4-0 engines on the same line. From the 2 feet 610 mm gauge Gwalior Light Railway in India, the company received several orders for locomotives and a wide variety of rolling stock over the years, culminating in the construction of four large 2 8 2 tender engines in 1928. Six very powerful superheated 4 8 0 mixed traffic locomotives built in 1929 were the last of a series of 4 4 0 and 4 6 0 machines built for the Buenos Aires Central Railway of Argentina. In common with most British locomotive builders, in the post-war era Kerr, Stewart received a number of large orders from the mainline companies who were seeking to replace obsolete inherited equipment with their own standard designs. In 1920 the Metropolitan Railway ordered eight superheated 4-4-4 passenger tank engines for the Aylesbury service. 
Between 1925 and 1927 the Stoke Works built 50 standard class 4 FO O goods engines for the London Midland and Scottish Railway and in 1929 and 1930 a batch of 25 GWR 5700 class O OPTs were built for the Great Western Railway. Topic: Diesel locomotives. In the late 1920s, a number of diesel locomotives were built. These were available with two or three axles for various track gauges. The engines were by McLaren Benz in two-cylinder, 30 horsepower, four-cylinder, 60 horsepower, or six-cylinder, 90 horsepower form. Transmission was mechanical, and final drive was by roller chains. They were very successful, even though technology moved on quickly. Further development was stopped when Kerr, Stewart's went into receivership, but the Hunslet range of diesel locomotives was based on these. At least three Kerr, Stewart diesel locomotives have survived into preservation but none is in original condition having been given different engines. The company in liquidation On 17 April 1930 a petition calling for the company to be wound up compulsorily was presented in the High Court Chancery Division by the Midland Bank. At a hearing held on 8 May 1930 this petition was withdrawn on settlement of an £8,000 guarantee. However, the sale of the works to George Cohen, Sons & Co. Ltd. was announced in August 1930. A skeleton staff was employed to complete contracts in progress. Another winding up petition was presented on 10 September 1930 and an order was made on 14 October. At the creditors' meeting held on 14 November Herbert Langham Reed, the company's chairman and managing director, attributed the failure of the company to the locking up of capital in the Peninsular Locomotive Company, registered in India 1921 to build locomotives Kerr, Stewart held 80% of the capital and loaned £78,000, the April winding up petition, which had resulted in a loss of confidence in the company, and to liabilities incurred by the company in supporting other companies. Company funds had, apparently, been used to finance a company called Evo's Sliding Doorways. This company's failure had triggered the Midland Bank petition. In L. T. C. Rolt's autobiography The Landscape Trilogy it is also alleged that the company secretary was discovered to have committed suicide in Kerr, Stewart's London offices, and a large quantity of papers was found to have been burnt in the fireplace. The firm's goodwill designs, spare parts, etc. was bought by the Hunslet Engine Company. Some locomotives were built by W. G. Bagnall to Kerr, Stewart Designs, a result of the chief Kerr, Stewart Droughtsman, F. H. B. Harris, and a number of other Kerr, Stewart staff being employed by Bagnalls. These locomotives include examples of the Haig and Mattery classes. The last steam locomotive built in Britain for industrial use, was a Hunslet-built Brazil-class engine in 1971. This locomotive is now running on the private Statfold Barn Railway.
The Chorus Railway commissioned a new locomotive based on the tattoo design of its original number no. 4, K's 4047 of 1921, and this was privately built over a 10-year period and went into service in 2005 as number no. 7. Topic: In popular culture. Wilbert Audrey named the narrow-gauge locomotive Stuart later Peter Sam in both the Railway series and Thomas and & Friends in reference to the company, as the engine is based on the Kerr, Stuart Tattoo class locomotive supplied to the Chorus Railway, which later became Edward Thomas on the Tallinn Railway. <laughs> <laughs> Preservation <laughs>